Welcome back creators, we're at TrustedShoppingGuide.com and today we're in the workshop. In this video, two tire inflator brands will be going head to head. We have the Craftsman Tire Inflator and the Ryobi 18 volt 1 Plus Cordless Tire Inflator. If you've spent a good amount of time riding a bike, car, or motorcycle, chances are you've experienced a flat tire at least once or twice. This can be a bit of a hassle, but if you have a tire inflator with you, you'll be able to get back up and running in no time or inflate your tire up until you're able to get to the local tire repair shop. Since these tire inflators are more often than not needed in emergency situations, we know that you'll need a reliable unit. In this video, we had two of our best tire inflators go head to head. The Craftsman Tire Inflator and the Ryobi 18 volt 1 Plus Cordless Tire Inflator. Both these tire inflators have garnered 5 badge ratings from our team at TrustedShoppingGuide.com. If you want to find out which tire inflator saves the day in today's brand wars, be sure to stick around until the very end. If you are interested in other tire inflators that we have reviewed, do check out our tire inflator review video linked below. If you want direct links to the products themselves, all these links are also listed below too. So without further ado, let's start the brand wars. The first category that these tire inflators will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with would be their pressure. Pressure usually equates to speed in the world of tire inflators, so the higher the pressure a tire inflator can produce, the quicker it can inflate a tire. Get a unit with at least 100 pounds per square inch of pressure so you don't have to spend too much time inflating a tire. Of course, an inflator with a maximum pressure of 150 pounds per square inch would have your tire inflated in no time. The Craftsman delivers high pressure of 160 pounds per square inch, which allows you to quickly inflate virtually anything from a tire to an air mattress. Meanwhile, Ryobi delivers high pressure inflation of up to 150 pounds per square inch for all types of tires. What we'll be looking at here is the maximum pounds per square inch of pressure the unit is capable of. With Craftsman offering a robust 160 pounds per square inch of pressure, it overpowers the competition, which leads them to be the victor. The second category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with would be their weight. When choosing a tire inflator, it would be best to get one with a more compact and lightweight profile. The smaller and lighter it is, the easier it is for you to store it in the trunk of your car or in your garage cabinet. Craftsman weigh 3.8 pounds, while Ryobi comes in at a more lightweight profile at 1.35 pounds. Ryobi has the advantage in this category due to its lightweight, which is why we will be giving the point to them in this round. The third category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with would be their battery. Tire inflators use electric motors and pumps to fill your tire, so they would need a source of power. Coreless models such as the two features today operate using rechargeable batteries. Some cordless inflators have built-in batteries while others have removable ones. It is also worth noting that cordless inflators are more flexible compared to their corded counterparts, as they don't require an additional source of power to fill a tire. For an extended operating time, Craftsman offers a pack of two 20-volt maximum 2-ampere batteries. On the flip side, Ryobi is equipped with a removable 3.0 ampere 18 volt lithium ion high capacity battery. Though both have undeniably high quality removable batteries, we will have to give the point to Craftsman as it offers two battery packs, which gives them quite the advantage. The fourth category that these two brands will be going toe to toe with would be their digital display. While pumping, you're going to have to determine the pounds per square inch of pressure in your tire, which is why your inflator needs a digital display. This allows you to check if an ample amount of pressure has been reached so that you won't be overinflating or underinflating your tire. In this category, both Craftsman and Ryobi are equipped with a digital pound per square inch gauge that accurately shows how much air is inside the tire. With both of them offering identical features, our team has decided to end this round in a tie. The fifth category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with would be their portability. Since cordless tire inflators are built for probability, it is also worth noting how easy they are to carry and move around. This is especially useful if you'll be bringing this along with you as you travel or even during your daily trip to the office. Craftsman is built with a convenient carry handle that allows you to move it around as you inflate your tires. On the other hand, Ryobi features a pistol grip handle that is designed with a grip zone over mold for a stable grip and maximum comfort. In this category, both units have their own unique way of allowing you to handle them with ease. That being said, we'll be ending this round in a tie yet again. The sixth and final category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with would be their ease of use. 
you won't want to spend an extended amount of time filling your car's tires with air. An easier inflation process lets you save more time and energy just in case you experience those unforeseen circumstances. Craftsman allows you to simply plug the inflator into your tire valve, set the needed pressure, and it will do all the work for you. It is also worth noting that the unit automatically shuts off once the set pressure is reached. Ryobi, on the other hand, is also easy to use, except for a few differences. After plugging the inflator into the tire valve, you'll have to squeeze the trigger to get the air flowing until the optimal pressure has been reached. Afterward, you'll have to release the trigger, remove the inflator, and you're all set. That being said, Craftsman has a clear advantage with its automatic shutoff feature that activates once the ample tire pressure has been reached. The entire operation requires minimal supervision. This is why this round ends with Craftsman being the victor. It is finally time to decide the winner in today's brand wars. The scores are in and we have Craftsman earning a total of 5 points. Ryobi, on the other hand, was only able to score a total of 3 points, but it did score an advantage over Craftsman in terms of portability. On the flip side, Craftsman dominated the competition in terms of power, battery capacity, and ease of use. For that, we will be crowning Craftsman as the king in today's brand wars. And there you have it folks, the battle between the Craftsman Tire Inflator and the Ryobi 18 volt One Plus Coreless Tire Inflator has finally ended. If you have any contenders for our next Tire Inflator face-off which you would like our team to test, do drop it in the comments section below and we will be sure to assess them for our next update. If you liked this video and it helped you in any way, please do give it a like and hit the subscribe button so that you can stay connected and updated with all of our research into everything that makes our workshops great. We look forward to seeing you at the trusted shoppingguide.com again soon.